Hello, just want to welcome you for today's devotion. Um, we have been studying the series. We've been looking at the series called Our Attitude Matters. And we've been looking at how important our attitude is because it can help us and or it can hinder us. It can prevent us or it can propel, propel us into the purposes of God. So attitude is very important. And uh, Pastor Charles Swindoll, is, uh, 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 he has said this. I believe the single most significant decision I can make on a day-to-day -day basis is my choice of attitude. It alone fuels my fire or assaults my hope. When my attitudes are right, there is no barrier too high, no valley too deep, no dream too extreme, no challenge too great for me. Um, so true, having the right attitude can change our next 24 hours. Uh, being consistent with the right attitude can change the course of our life. So um, we're looking at uh, this uh, in, in this last study in the series, we're looking at this attitude to avoid, which is the pessimistic attitude. Um, how does this pessimistic attitude manifest itself? How do we identify it? When we always expect and confess the worst possible outcome in any scenario, no, that's a pessimistic attitude. Always being negative, when we uh, expect the negative to happen, when we also confess the negative to happen, that's the pessimistic attitude. You know, we as human beings, you know, we work, we, we work in different, different situations, scenarios, and we are there as problem solvers, as problem solvers, sorry. So definitely we have to foresee challenges, foresee problems, and prepare and plan to solve those problems. But this is different. This is when we expect only the negative to happen and not really look at the positive of every situation. And when we don't solve it, but just confess and declare the negative in a, in a, in a particular scenario, that's the pessimistic attitude. So, uh, so how does this affect us really? Having a, uh, having a pessimistic attitude, does it affect us? How does it affect us? No, we stop enjoying the blessings of God. God has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. The psalmist says that he, daily he loads us with benefits. So when we have a pessimistic attitude, everything, all this goes unnoticed. We, we do not enjoy the blessings of God. We do not stop to uh, recount the blessings of God, but instead find fault even in those blessings. And uh, it could you know, it could lead to a place where we are finding fault with God himself. Uh, the downside of this attitude is that we end up becoming very fearful because we are seeing the negative uh, in every situation. We end up being very fearful about life itself. We lose our confidence in God. That's another thing that happens because we're not looking at things in faith. We're not looking at the word of God. We're not considering it. So we lose our confidence in God. We avoid taking calculated risks in our career, in our jobs. We, we avoid taking those risks. And therefore, we cut away our opportunity to grow in whatever we are called to do. We avoid taking new projects, new challenges because of our pessimistic attitude. So, uh, really the antidote is to count the blessings that God pours into our lives. Uh, to fill our mind with the truth of God's word as God instructed Joshua that we, we fill our minds, we meditate on the word of God and uh, so uh, our thinking changes. Just one scripture before we close, Philippians 4 and verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are holy, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So if we dwell, if we think deeply, if we think over and over again uh, on the truth and not on uh, fearful things, on this, uh, that is the word of God, then our outlook changes. Also, we need to disconnect from people who are pessimistic uh, because evil company corrupts good habits. So let's pray and uh, let's ask the Lord to develop in us a positive mental attitude. Father, we pray and we ask that you would um, fill us with your word, fill us with faith and uh, change our thoughts, renew our thoughts, renew our attitude, God. May it be positive and uh, not pessimistic. 
uh, yes, Lord, may we be people of faith and not of unbelief. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.